Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over the Headwinds Simulations installer. I know a lot of people might be familiar with the Fly-By-Wire installer, but I have not really seen many videos on the Headwinds installer. So we'll go over everything you need to know coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In order to start using the Headwind installer, we first need to download the application from the Headwinds website. Once you are here, you can download the Headwinds installer, and then once we have it installed, you should have something like this on your screen. Now, the Headwinds installer is going to be very similar to the Fly by Wire installer in that all of our packages are going to be over here on the left hand side. Now, a lot of people know Headwind Simulations from their fantastic A330-900 Neo series, which can also be downloaded from this installer. From this installer, we have the ability to either choose a pre-release version or the main release version for this aircraft. Down in the lower right-hand corner, all you need to do is hit the Install button, and it will install everything into your Community folder. Now, what if we're using Add-on Linker and we don't want to install this in our Community folder? To adjust any of our settings in the installer application, we first need to go down and tap on the settings cog down in the lower left hand corner. Here we have some general information. The next tab down is our download location. So as you can see over here on the right hand side, we have our install directory, our Microsoft community directory, and the Microsoft Flight Sim base directory. If you wish to install this in a different folder than your community folder, then you would just click on the install directory and then you can change that location there. All right, so now you have downloaded the mod to the correct folder. Now let's take a look over here on the right hand side of the installer. We have a couple more things that we can click on. In the configure tab, this will allow us to choose which version to download. In the release notes, this will give us any change log for the release of the aircraft. And at the very bottom, we have an about tab. If you go to the documentation, this will open up all the documents for this aircraft. The other thing that we have here is the add-ons tab. If we click on the add-ons tab, this will take us right over to flightsim.to and bring up all the various add-ons for that particular aircraft. Like I said earlier, all the packages that we can download are going to be on the left-hand side of the installer. Now, as you can see, we have several new aircraft that are going to be coming to the Headwind installer. Below this, we also have the Superjet, which I have downloaded. And again, we have a couple different versions that we can download here. At the very bottom of our package list, we have some liveries that we can download for the 900 as well as the SU-95. Below that, the fly-by-wire SimBridge. So for anyone that is using an external MCDU or any other hardware, the SimBridge will allow you to communicate from the simulator to your external hardware. And bam! <laughs> if we turn our attention to the upper left-hand corner of this installer, you will notice we have two different icons. Each of these icons will dictate which packages we can download to the right of them. Now, the Headwinds installer had just received a huge update the other day, and we now have a bunch more aircraft so let's take a look at what we have here below. If we click on this icon, you will notice here that we have a bunch of different aircraft that we can update. Now at the top of this menu, these are several different Latin VFR Airbuses that can be downloaded at the Latin VFR website or available in the marketplace. Now, one of the major complaints with the Latin VFR Airbus lineup is that they were really not true to life or not as good as the Phoenix, or not as good as the Fly-By-Wire. So many people are familiar with Horizon Simulations for their 787. They have also done various updates to all of the Latin VFR Airbus models. So with saying that, you must already own the Latin VFR Airbus model. And when you click on any of these packages, you can download the update for that Airbus. 
Now they've done a lot of improvements to each of these models. So if you want to know what's going on, check out the release notes. If you have the premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can take advantage of the 787-9 Dreamliner from Horizon Simulations down here below. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe, tickle on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.